what happened was, is uh, I started playing piano when I was nine, took piano for like two months, uh, quit piano lessons, started teaching myself piano, joined a ska band when I was 14 with a couple skaters, and uh, ended up writing songs on piano and keyboard, and uh, joined in written law after that fell apart, my skateboarding career fell apart, and uh, I was living in an abandoned house. Joined this band, we were a four-piece, uh, at this time we were writing songs and we put out, no we hadn't put out, we, were, we hadn't put out our first record yet, we put out a demo though, and uh, I was listening to our guitar player at the time, uh, song structures and stuff, and they just didn't make sense to me, and I couldn't really translate from piano because I couldn't read to guitar. So I had him teach me how to play the Green Day song, that song, and he taught me how to play two fingers. From there I learned how to play guitar, we was adding on more. And then, you know, if you learn one Green Day song, you can learn them all. <laughs> and so, you know, from there I went on to bigger, bigger, heavier things like Social Distortion and Ramones. Same songs, another joke, fuck it. <laughs> so, uh, but, um, but yo, so that's what happened, and, and uh, I learned how to play guitar. Actually, it was kind of uh, deceitful because I was learning how to play guitar, because I was going to take over writing all the songs, because all the songs were that we were writing at the time were. And I wanted to write more than a three or four chord uh, strong structure in guitar to show the boys to write a song. So, I hope the next question is what was your first song? <laughs> It will be, and why don't you do that right now? Okay, cool. <laughs> this is the good part. Stay tuned in, guys. Check this out. So what happened was, I'm sitting there going, fuck, like, my band is, like, really good looking. Okay, got that one. Pretty talented-ish. And uh, we need to write better songs with more than three or four chord progression. So I was sitting at home, and uh, a Charter Hospital commercial came on. And they had this song, it's like, if your kid's fucked up and on drugs, then you can, like, come to our hospital. And some shit, you know. And it was like, those are good chords. <laughs> right? So it was like seven or nine chord change. I'm like, that's cool. So what I did is I stole it. <laughs> and it was CPK it was the first song I ever wrote. And it's the first song of our first record. And it was... I remember to play it. It was something like that. So that is my first song. Came, stole it from a Charter Hospital commercial. <laughs> Learn from Green Day. Five top 20 singles, two of them top 10. Number one. I think, I think we'll be having an impromptu legal copyright panel immediately following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're That's right. <laughs> That's right. I think it's like a Beethoven song, because I've heard it in like in 50 other commercials since then. I mean, this was 20 years ago. But... Yeah, word? Talk about right. Scannon. Thank you very much. Is that what it is? Yeah. There you go, CPK. <laughs> I just put a chorus on it, really. Kino, how about you? What was the uh, first song you learned to play? I remember it well. I'm sorry to stop here. Oh, okay. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my mother had to suffer through this song for a whole year. Me and my uh, band in high school, we played this. And I remember her clearly saying, honey, you guys sound okay, but do you, can't you learn any more songs? <laughs> and of course it was by the great one. Steer it up, yeah. little darling, steer it up, come on baby. That's all you need is that one song. Yeah. And the first song that you wrote, did you remember? Ah, that's, that one's a little tougher. Um, I, uh, you know what? I, I know you sent me an email. To, if you want to think about it, I'm going to come back to it. Yeah, you know, and, and I, I, I thought about this song, and I was going to try to pull it out. I had breakfast with the family today, but... What, what, what made me think was that, like, you know, I wrote this tune, we're talking probably, uh, 88. And, and back, back then, you know, we were all worried about nuclear war, and it's, it's a trip now, you know, who, it, it's not, it's not big on our list of things to worry about, and, uh, 
when I woke up this morning The sun was shining but the clouds were in control When I woke up this morning It was the kind of morning where you think you lost your soul When I woke up this morning I could hear the voices of my children having fun When I woke up this morning I contemplated what would come And then the song come, kind of goes on and does a little verse And then uh, I, the, uh, the, the chorus, it kind of goes uh, Na na became the atmosphere Stillness replaced the wind Death was dancing everywhere From the purple clouds within The purple clouds within Oh yeah, yeah. So you know it's a trip back then nowadays thank you I'm a teacher, and I, you know, I, I, it's always interesting to see what's on kids' minds. What's, what are they really worried about these days? And it seems like today's young people, they really don't worry about anything. It's interesting to see that, that change. But, uh, but the whole nuclear thing is, you know, I, I remember that movie, uh, The Day After. And you guys, there's enough people that remember that. I mean, that was a big thing, you know? Everybody figured that tomorrow there was going to be a nuclear bomb falling on our heads, but um, hopefully, uh, you know, the things that we're worried about today, like, uh, that's a nice Apparently we have song. music for a uh, Holocaust <laughs> playing behind us. What was that? Nothing. No, it was Jack's phone. No, I, I don't know. 